Hi. I promised a twinkle art show, so here I am. I'd like to wait a little bit and see if others show up. I hope people show up for this, but even so, I hope you take time to watch it. Um, I am on location at Dapper Cat Coffee in Louisa on Main Street. They're not open today, or I'd have a mask on. But um, they, they are open Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for walk-ins, and you can order your coffee. Um, you can pick up your orders if you order ahead of time, but you just can't stay in here and consume your beverages, but you can wait in here and browse. They have this beautiful gallery set up. Everything in here is for sale. And my artwork has been brought back, and I'm so very grateful to Kristen, the owner. Um, Dapper Cat Coffee and the shop next door, Nourish Louisa, they're connected, and they're like home for me. So with this um, rather difficult, challenging holiday season, it's kind of nice. She invited me to bring my, some of my artwork back in. I used to have so much art here, and I taught classes here every Thursday, and I miss that so much. So I'm very grateful to her for inviting me in, and I'm going to show you the pieces of art that are here, and you're going to see some other exhibits along the way in a little twinkle. And one of the things I really appreciate right now is how this fills that little hole in me. I miss, and my oldest granddaughters will attest to this, I miss going to the shopping areas. Hi, Heather where the lights are twinkly and on and the Christmas music's playing. Like that's one of my most favorite things is to just go and look at the lights and people watch and drink coffee and eat ice cream or whatever we want to eat, chocolate, whatever we do. And we just sit and we watch, we have fun and we giggle, but not this year. So this is my little bit of twinkle and I hope it brings you all some happiness also and if you stick with me till the end I'll try not to talk too long um, there's a little extra surprise so there's an extra gifty thing going on um, but you gotta stay till the end so what I'm gonna do is take you on a stroll Ugh, that's awkward always and we're gonna browse this wonderful gallery so let me switch this around and I'm gonna start switch the camera and See, Merry Christmas. See the lights? We'll get there. So, some of my artwork, it's hung up fairly high. These are all originals. That is an oil painting. It's Mountains of Memories. That's fairly recent, but it is dry. I couldn't bring any of my still drying pieces in, but that is for sale. And these guys are going to be actually on sale. So, let me back it up. I'm not very good at this. Here we go. This is an oil painting as well. This is called Secrets. It's one of my favorite. It's, it's been with me a little while. I just think, I'm so short, sorry. This one has so much texture to it. So, Secrets is here. <laughs> Keeping the secrets of nature. And this one, of course, is not textured it's very smooth atmospheric okay let's go for a little stroll absolutely love the feel of this place i will be so happy when we get to come back in look at these beautiful displays that are up we can come back in and sip coffee have beverages they had the greatest food oh little snack sandwiches and you know, easy meals. All right, there is a painting back behind this display. See that hidden back in there? This one is called Peeper's Call, and it's one of my Frog Pond series. It's a mixed media, and you know what? It even has the barbed wire in it. See that? That was my obsession with barbed wire. This one has a lot of textures in it too. I really like that a lot. Okay, at the risk of still making you motion sick, here we go. This is another piece. This is a mixed media, but mostly acrylic. It has tissue paper collaged in. Um, hi, Sherry. That's my cousin. I'm so glad you're here. And um, this is another of my Frog Pond series. It's the same pond, 
as Peeper's Call, but it was me on a different day. And the way I did these was I didn't take pictures. I would walk up there, look at it, stare at it, almost get hit by cars. And then I would come back to my studio and create what I felt was my impression of that at that time. And again, these pieces are all for sale. You've seen four so far, but look, twinkly lights. These things are all for sale also. This, this piece <laughs> is called Eyeshadow, and it is one of my all-time favorites I've done. It surprised me so much. Do you see that eye right there? <laughs> that is an eye that was in the underpainting. It was a totally different painting. It was oriented in a landscape version, I think. Um, but that eye stayed in the shadow areas of this acrylic painting. And I like the way I let the underpainting come through to be all the dark areas. And I simply painted the lighter tones eyeshadow. It's a very romantic piece. That would be a fantastic gift to give someone for the holidays. These original paintings are available. They're going to be on display and for sale in here for the early part of December and maybe longer. This one is called The History of Barbed Wire and <laughs> a lot of you participated with me on this one. You helped, you voted it the barbed wire in or out. This is the one I did so many times. Um, it has a lot of, that's why it's called The History. Hey there, oldest daughter of mine. Katie's watching. I know that's one of your favorites. You know where it is now. Okay, down here in behind is one of my pastels. I love the setting it's in. Look at this. So it's near these gorgeous silk flowers, <laughs> the bear, and it's so cool, and the colors are warm. Um, I'm gonna move the chicken for a second. Okay, this is called Sun's Promise, and I did this, see that down there? I did this one day when I looked out the side of our house, and this was the first view I saw that morning. So let me move this so we can look at it again. And I went out to my studio and I created from memory the very quick little sketch that I did. We clear cut our trees this year. We used to be surrounded completely by ridiculously tall pines. And it was very, it was mind blowing to me the clear view I had each morning as the summer progressed. I mean, where was I gonna go, right? Pandemic and all. There are such cool things here. So if you would just come to Dapper Cat Coffee, order a most fantastic beverage, and you can browse this gallery while you're here. Okay, this one is called Frozen Frog Pond. It's the same area, but a different time of year and a different feeling or vibe that I got from it. So all the frog pond ones are local and um, locally inspired by scenes from our local area. So is the history of barbed wire. This one is super textured. It's a mixed media, but really acrylic. See that crazy texture in there? Ah, I have collaged papers in. I really like it. It has a good feel. It's very cool wintry. I don't know. It's fun. Here's a couch I would love to sit on with a cup of coffee one day again, like we used to. We used to have so much fun in here. And next door at Nourish. Okay, this one. This is called Remembering Home. It's one of the three pastels I did, oil pastels, and they're so much fun to do. I'm going to do more of those, but they really work me out because I really don't know what I'm doing. I probably overwork them. A lot of fun. All right, this one, this is called Song of Peepers. It's um, a mixed media. And again, it's of that little frog pond local here near, near my studio so I could walk there. And the crazy thing is I took, <laughs> 
spray paint and stencils and created this but there's so many layers again just so much going on and I had to go through a couple of phases to finally get it to land where I wanted it to be I enjoy that though okay hope I'm not going too fast here we go this is a small painting small acrylic it's called guardians absolutely love this one it's very colorful has a good feel I mean it's it's meant to give you the feel of warm sunshine in the afternoon and it could be in a cool environment or maybe it's just a deserted place but look how warm those goats feel they're just ready to take a nap okay here we go another pastel painting this, I call this Mother Nature's Candy because it's a memory piece for me. I remember when the leaves turned colors. When I was a kid, I thought they looked like candy. You know, or those that cereal. What's that sickening sweet cereal we used to have when, of course, I'm old, but for kids, it's not good for you. Don't eat it. Um, and on this one, I wanted to create an illusion of bright light. So the shadows, the high darks and lights. Um, really worked for me, but it definitely has a painterly feel and I was going for that also You know pastels create a really unique surface on the paper and you do want to put them under glass It's in a all the pastels are in plastic bags at the moment or you know wraps for protection um, Oh goodness, I love this piece This is actually a mixed media, but mostly acrylic I did collage tissue paper in there, and this is a scene that I created from two photos that I took of two very beautiful young girls, total generation apart. One of them is my oldest granddaughter, and the other child is my youngest daughter, and they were not in the same scene together, but I did put them in the same scene together. This is one of my favorite all-time pieces, and <laughs> a lot of texture a lot of energy uh, and that one is called dance like nobody is watching oh if we could all just do that huh and more beautiful displays this one oh gracious me a messy arrangement it's called this is a mixed media and this one has a history with nourish here Dapper Cat. This actually was a <laughs> live painting demo that I did here before the pandemic and um, it was a total bust. Technology didn't work and this painting was actually one of three and it was the ugliest thing I had ever produced and I did it live on camera. It was a very embarrassing. I went with it, you know, do it. But um, so then I took it back and I found the irises in it. So it it was an ugly duckling that turned into a swan or just a nice duck. Pencil work, drawing, this has a lot of me in it. That glass to me looks like carnival glass. That shows up a lot in my work. In my still life pieces, you'll notice if you ever look at them long enough or see enough of them, you'll notice there's this carnival glass thing that shows up. I don't know if it's intentional, it just happens. Um, this is another pastel painting. This is Coconut Mike, and this is him feeling festive for the holidays. He's so grumpy looking, so grumpy looking all the time. But he's got his turkey feather, he's got his deer antlers, and there's an acorn back there. And <laughs> he's funny. And the pink cracks me up on that because he is not a pink little coconut dude but it works well on him, he's so funny. And again, that's a pastel, so it's in a um, cellophane bag to protect it. Okay, and last but not least is Papa Ao. This is a surfboard graveyard sort of piece, like the spirit of the boards. And this one came out of me after I came back from Molokai in Hawaii, I had been at a retreat not at a fancy hotel, but on a living sanctuary. And the symbols on 
each of the surfboards, I actually imitated or did my version of off of the cookbook, which was the only souvenir I brought back from Molokai, from the Living Sanctuary. And then, of course, there's collaged pieces, and I did some drawing in there. This, I love this piece. It's wonderful. It's an acrylic, but it's really a, like a mixed media also. So nice. Okay. Well, if you're still with me, you have earned the special gift surprise. Okay, so all these beautiful displays are here. Dapper Cat Coffee. It's a wonderful little world to step into, especially during this pandemic holiday. You could come in and stroll while your beverages or your pastries get fixed up, boxed up. Okay, by the very talented baristas here. So here's what I have going on. I am going to give away, this is called a Hunter's Waterway, I believe. Let me check, yep. A Hunter's Waterway. It is a pastel painting, and all you have to do is enter or sign up for my newsletter, drop it in the fishbowl here, and you will be entered to win this. And Sunday night, I'll draw it. I'll do a drawing. So you have to come in, get some coffee, get a little bit of beauty, watch Main Street Louisa go by. You'll get to stay for a little bit till your coffee gets fixed and you pay for everything, but you get to do some shopping and wear your mask so you can stay safe. And um, this is my version. This is, <laughs> this is how I go see Twinkle Lights this year because I don't think I'm going to be out in the shopping areas doing that, you know? It's just not a good idea. And one of these days I'll get back in here and be able to do the drawing sessions and the art classes, so... And maybe bring more art. So please stop by Dapper Cat Coffee tomorrow, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Sign up for my newsletter, browse and shop and get some of the best coffee you've ever had, Orange County Roasters, it's so good. And um, this was my little Twinkle Art Show. Please visit my website if you're interested in any prints of these, if you're not local. Um, if you're interested in the originals, all you have to do is message me and I will ship them to you. But remember, shipping is getting really tight now with the pandemic, so that's gonna be hard. So the surprise that you waited for, I hope you weren't disappointed, it's that you get to come here and enter to win an original piece of artwork of mine. And I'm inviting you to visit my website, www.ivonagart.com. And there's all kinds of things on there for you to look through. But if you get a chance and can get out and you're feeling safe enough, Come browse the coffee shop. Come buy coffee. Go next door. They're beautiful artisan wares and produce next door, all local. I love this place. This is my home away from home. Well, one of these days, we'll all be back in here again. So have a great rest of your hump day. This is Wednesday. So enjoy yourself. Take a little time to relax and create. You know, even if it's just cooking or rearranging something, feel it inside. It's good for the soul. And I hope you have a great day. And I hope you get to this coffee shop. Remember, Sunday night, I'm going to draw for that free original piece of art. So come in and sign up for my newsletter right here. Love it. I think you guys are amazing for watching me all the way through. And I hope to hear from you. I love chatting with people. Okay, have a good day.